Welcome to the art club, everybody, all of you artists. I am so happy. Every time you send me your artwork, it just, it makes my heart warm inside. And I, I love to see how you guys are progressing because I remember what it was like to be your age. And I remember that feeling of when, when I would draw something and it just turned out really nice. I feel like I'm getting that feeling all over again every time I see all of your guys' artwork, so it's just amazing. Today, we're going to talk about something that's called balance. And what balance in art is, is how the components of your artwork balance in the picture. So, um, some pictures can be completely balanced evenly. So both sides of the image would be exactly the same, um, like my face. See, it's symmetrical. Um, this side is the same as this side, for the most part. And other pictures can be balanced, but asymmetrical. So they could be maybe two hands, but just off like this. So they're still balanced because there's two hands, but they're not exactly... Um, like a mirror of each other. Maybe that just sounds all confusing. I think it's just easier if we try to draw it ourselves. Balance can either be symmetrical, where if you divide, if you were to divide your artwork in half, this half is the same as this half. So everything would be even. If I put a line here, and I put a line there. That's symmetrical. That's symmetry. Asymmetrical means if you were to divide the art in half, this side still matches this side. See? But they're not even. So it still matches because I have two black dots the same as up here. So it still balances. But this is, is symmetrical and this one is asymmetrical. Do you understand? I will do a couple more examples. So here I'm going to draw a symmetrical picture. Well, as symmetrical as I can. So two kids on a teeter-totter, and they are symmetrical, meaning the picture is even. It's the same on both sides. Now down here, I will draw the same two kids. Only this time, it's not symmetrical. It is asymmetrical, but it's still, there's still balance in the picture, you see? Have you ever been held up in the air on the teeter-totter and you're like, let me down! And the kid down here is heavier and they're just like, ha 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 ha. I hate that. I'm going to do two more examples. So let's say I want to do a star design. See, this is asymmetrical because it's, there's still balance but they're not, they're not even. Now here, maybe I could do um, some flowers. So see, there's still balance, but it's not symmetrical. Okay? So this picture that we're about to draw is going to be asymmetrical um, for me. You can make it symmetrical if you want to. And this picture I like to call eating snowflakes. <laughs> We're going to draw some kids eating snowflakes and they're really easy to do. We're going to do the head first. So about this big and right here I'm going to draw the taller child. Um, I'm going to do a circle but not all the way. Leave a little space because at that space I'm going to draw the nose. Yes, the nose. This kid is looking up so high, we can't even see his eyes. Okay, after that, 
you just draw a nice little scarf. So there's the neck part of the scarf. And then from here, just make it go out like that. Then we draw the body. And maybe some arm lines here. Then we're going to add a mouth. So the mouth is going to be quite big and wide open because this kid is catching snowflakes in his mouth. So then we have to add some teeth. You can make the teeth however you want. And then a tongue. So bump, bump. So there the kid is like, ah, can you see it? Then we can add some hair. And you could put designs on the scarf. I think I'll make a design on the sweater. A very symmetrical design. <laughs> and then I'm going to draw another kid over here. Smaller one, but the same idea. Nose sticking up. Then we do the scarf. And the body. Like that. The mouth. You can make the hair however you want. But those are my kids. <laughs> Not my kids. Well, they could be actually Titus and Hunter. I'm going to trace it. I actually have these oil pastels that I'm going to be using today. You definitely don't need oil pastels, but they're just going to show up really nicely, so... I think his mom forced him to wear this sweater. You can also create balance with color. So if you have certain colors on this side of your picture, if you add them on the other side, that creates balance. If the paper's white, then the white is not going to show up. But if you choose a paper like blue or gray, then it's going to work. Also, with pastels, we can smudge them in just like pencil. Okay, now I'm going to make their teeth white. And the most important part, what are they trying to catch on their tongues? Snowflakes! There we go. There's my signature. There it is. All right, so that was balance. And I hope to see your versions of balance in all different ways. I have a couple examples of balance here. In this book here, Just My Friend and Me, we can see balance in this image because see the mom over here? She is not mirrored over here, but the little boy being over here creates balance, asymmetrical balance. We have a picture here. Would you say that this picture is symmetrical or asymmetrical? It's symmetrical because both sides are the same. Both of them are nice. Symmetrical and asymmetrical are nice, but my favorite, I think, is asymmetrical. I just have a thing for things that are just a little bit imperfect. I kind of like that. It makes art more interesting to me. Let's check out this Art Club mailbox and see if anything came today. 
These are special. <laughs> Don't be afraid, okay? <laughs> These are my son's party glasses that he got for his birthday. Help me. This is a good example of symmetry, right? But I can make them not symmetrical. Okay, enough. Anyway, those are my thoughts on balance. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I am uh, moving soon to a new location. I'm trying to get the videos out as quickly as I was before, but sometimes I'm a day or two late and I'm sorry for that. Um, but I'm not gonna stop despite moving. I might have to take a break uh, during the March break, but other than that, we're gonna keep on going. So I'll see you here again next week.